Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Let's talk about Parkinson's disease and specifically a patient with Parkinson's is suffering from resting tremors as the predominant symptom. How would you treat this person? Would you give this person something like benztropine or amantadine? And this is a common question on the boards. Even though both of them are the right answers, you have to know what medication to choose. Anticholinergics like benztropine improve tremor and rigidity and do not have much effect on the bradykinesia. So anticholinergics are for the tremors and rigidity, not for the bradykinesia. And as a result, they're reserved for patients whose predominant symptom is a resting tremor and they're mostly useful in patients over 70 years of age um, and also understand that they're used in patients with advanced disease in whom tremors do not improve with L-DOPA or dopamine agonist therapy. So as a result of this, um, omantadine is an antiviral agent and its use is fairly unknown um, because its mechanism is still not quite clear. In Parkinson's disease, it has the advantage of having a lower toxicity and so it improves all the features of Parkinsonism um, and its side effects include confusion, restlessness, skin rash, depression, edema. Um, and so keep in mind here that if you have a patient and the question is asking you about a tremor, then an anticholinergic is going to be your answer. You wouldn't choose propranolol because that's for a benign essential familial tremor. And keep in mind that the first line treatment for Parkinsonism in order to treat the actual symptoms is something like L-DOPA. And selegiline is a selective monoamine oxidase B inhibitor and it's a neuroprotective agent and that slows down the progression of the disease. So it has a mild ac symptomatic action as well. Um, and it's used as an adjunctive in patients receiving L-DOPA therapy. So for symptomatic treatment, selegiline with L-DOPA is useful, whereas anticholinergics are the first choice for a tremor. And that's a quick review of the medications for Parkinson's disease. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for additional board review lectures and good luck in your preparation.